Hello everyone, welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. Today we have a very, very, very well-known animal. Quite an apex predator, a very large animal. And it is none other than Panthera tigris, or more commonly known as the tiger. Whew. It's one of my favorite animals, one of my favorite animals actually. For those who don't know, tigers are cats, large cats. They're the largest cat, you know, most, I, I should say, the largest natural breed of cat. That's what I should say, because you have, like, animals like the the, uh, the liger and all that stuff. Those are not naturally bred. Those are uh, modified. But a tiger is the largest natural cat on the planet and they are huge I think they can grow up to like 500 pounds and way close to like wake um, yeah they, they can weigh up like 500 pounds and be like 10 feet long like they are some huge huge and like the like TV doesn't do it justice about how large these animals really are they are quite massive. Like, you know, the closest I've ever been to a tiger was in the zoo, and that was quite far away, you know, with the little uh, cage thing and all that stuff. But tigers are absolutely massive. They're strong. They're powerful. They're shockingly fast. They're uh, beautiful creatures, beautiful creatures. They... They're known for their famous uh, stripe patterns. They're uh, yellow, yellow fur with black stripes. And believe it or not, those are actually, that's actually not about the hair. That's actually from the skin. Their skin is striped. That's where they get, that's where they get the, the stripes from. Their skin is actually striped. So if people think it's just the fur, no. Their actual skin. If you shave a tiger, you can see the stripes on their skin. So that's where the actual stripes come from. All right? They are native to Asia, uh, India. Actually, you know, you got uh, Siberian tigers, which is, you know, Siberia is in Russia. But they're native to Asia, which Russia, well, Asia, pardon me. Russia is in Asia. So they're native to Asia. You can find them in places like you know, um, Indonesia, um, Thailand, Siberia, Russia. You know, they are some large animals. And if you, like when I, when I, when I uh, looked at the skull of a lion, I found some very interesting features about the tiger one being is just like the shape of the skull and how unique it is you know how from the cheekbones here all the way to the mandible which is the jaw is quite unique like they if you look at the jaw, if you look from the cheekbone to the jaw, it's huge. That means it has some very large jaw muscles, and it does. I think I told I forgot which uh, I forgot which animal I did earlier in this uh, where I t uh, told you that usually the larger the jaw bone or the larger the mandible, which is the jaw bone, the larger the jaw bone, the larger the muscles, and the larger the muscles. The jaw muscles, the greater power you have when you're when you're eating the like things for crushing. Like if you look right here, the molars they are huge. These are meant for crushing bone. So you put you put jaw muscles like the huge jaw muscles here, mixed in with these large molars right here. These things these ready to crush bones. You got these long long canines. Like the canines can be like three inches long. They are huge. 
Tiger's canine teeth are huge, man. Absolutely huge. And they they tear through flesh like a hot knife through butter, man. And they whip flesh and tear flesh all right all this right here, all that. It's crazy. You see right here, this is the eye socket right here. Predators usually have their eyes in the front so they can see, you know, forward. But all of this right here, this the which the shape of the hair right here. This is this is meant for killing big animals. This is meant for that. Like, this is meant for crushing bones right here. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, I've always I've always had a thing with tigers. No, of course you know one of my favorite cereals is Frosted Flakes, and their mascot is Tony the Tiger, which I don't understand why that is. But anyway. And tigers, like I said, they, they normally come in. They normally come in red, uh, yellow and orange, but every now and then it's kind of like a defect. They have like white and white white fur with black stripes, like the Siberian tiger or stuff. That's that's usually like a birth defect. It's not actually how most tigers look. Most tigers are are yellow fur, yellow orange fur with black stripes, and. The, this this particular pattern is usually meant for camouflage while the tiger is hunting because if you think about if you're in the jungle, right, and you have leaves and foliage of different colors, green, yellow, orange, red, all that stuff, and then you have the trees, the canopy of the trees, you have light piercing through those leaves of the trees. The shadows that are created makes a black stripe. It makes black stripes all over the, the floor, all over the jungle the jungle floor. And if you have an animal that has black stripes on it, it gives them kind of a camouflage to hide in with the leaves and the shadows of the vegetation, which helps them, which, which assists them in hunting. So if you can hide yourself while you're trying to hunt, your chances of catching your prey are greater because they don't know what's the vegetation in the shadows and what's your fur and what's the stripes on you. So it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. But yeah, and of course, we all know about the famous tiger you know, from Siegfried and Roy and that whole incident about when the tiger uh, chewed up, you know, attacked... Um, that which which one what which one was it? Was it Siegfried or was it Roy? I think it was I think it was Roy that got attacked by the tiger. That they've had for years. They they've had that tiger for years. And I don't know what happened, but the tiger just said just, just snap. And that's why I always say, you know, just you know it's 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 good it's good, you know, it's good to love animals and stuff. I love animals. But I understand from a, just from a nature perspective, you can never fully tame, excuse me, you can never fully tame an animal. Like, if you, you can never fully, you can never fully subdue a human. If you can't subdue a human, you really, you can't fully subdue an animal. No matter how much you train that animal, how much that animal, you know, loves you and treats you properly it is still an animal that has instincts base instincts like humans do no matter how much you try to train in a human being to do certain things there's always a aspect of that human that still rebels that re that that quote unquote wild side that you can you can never fully tame out of a human. So if you cannot fully tame a human, you cannot fully tame an animal that is larger than you, stronger than you, faster than you, more powerful than you, and can kill and eat you. I mean, if you think about that, a tiger can kill and eat a human. Easily. Easily. So it's... You know, it's, it's, 
I ain't gonna tell you what I thought when I when I first when I first uh heard about that story. I mean, it was it was bad, but I was like, you know, when you're dealing with animals, it's always a chance. It's always a chance that something can go left. Always a chance. I don't care if it's I don't care if it's your house cat or a tiger. I don't care if it's your pet dog or a wolf. I don't care what animal it is. There's always a chance that things can go left when you're dealing with nature. Because nature, contrary to popular human ego and belief, nature does not have to, does not, nature is not obligated to bow down to the whims of human, of humans. Nature is not obligated to do what humans say. Nature was here before humans. Nature will be here after humans. Nature has, has no obligation to do whatever humans say, despite what people may believe. And no, nature don't give a crap about human life. And that's just simply it. You are on the planet Earth with other animals that share this Earth. It is not all about you. So, you know, like I always say, be respectful of nature. When it comes to nature, be respectful. Know where you are. Know what you're dealing with. You're dealing with an animal that is 500 pounds that can leap. Like, if if a tiger is 10 feet long, a tiger can leap over its own height. Let that, 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 that sink in. From head to tail, tiger is 10 feet long. A tiger can jump higher than that. What you really going to do with a tiger if it decides to just say, you know what, I had enough and let me just attack? What you really going to do? You ain't faster than a tiger. You ain't stronger than a tiger. The only thing you have, if you have some kind of sharp object or a, a gun where you can, you know, fight back from a distance, that's about it. But other than that, there ain't a thing you can do with a tiger if it decides to say, you know what, I had enough. Ain't a thing you can do. So, you no, know, I always say, you know, be respectful of nature. Don't mess with me. I won't mess with you. Hey. Like, like I said, I, I understand studying it. I understand people got to go and study these animals and bring the information back. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you must always remember to be respectful of nature. Always be respectful of nature. That's 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 a that's a basic rule. Respect where you are. Respect what the tiger can do. You know, the tiger's a beautiful animal. It's beautiful because of its abilities, its attributes, its power, its speed, its People talk about how fat, how powerful a tiger is, and it is powerful, but people really don't understand how fast a tiger is. Like just because in order to build that kind of power, you need that kind of speed and quickness to move and, and attack with such force, because force equals mass times acceleration, and speed is distance over time. So let 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 that little physics kick in right there. You know, and like I said, with these with these teeth, with teeth like this, you see these teeth right here? You see this? You see these teeth, man? These teeth are meant to go through. And when they get a hold of you with these jaw muscles, this these teeth and these jaw muscles, you might just go ahead and just, just, just kiss the baby. Whatever, whatever no, nah, just... I remember seeing the footage of um, I think it was it was it was it was some people on an elephant. I forgot what I think it was in somewhere in Asia. It was the footage of these 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 people on the elephant, and it was this camera a guy who had a camera. And they were on top of the elephant, walking through, walking through the little like this little uh field of grass, right? There was grass and like water, I think. And they didn't see it, but there was a tiger 
hiding in the grass and you could not see the tiger. Like the, the, the camera was actually pointing at the direction that the tiger was located, but they but no one could see the tiger. No one saw the tiger in the grass. The tiger all of a sudden ran towards the elephant. They were on the top of an elephant. They ran towards an elephant. The elephant. Jumped up, and you think that they, you think that they're they gonna actually just swipe at the tiger I and mean, swipe at the elephant. They the tiger jumped up so high, it leaped over the elephant and reached the men that were on the elephant. Now, for those who don't understand what that is, an elephant is not only the largest mammal on the planet, it is also the second tallest animal. On a, a giraffe is the tallest animal. A giraffe is the tallest animal on the, on the planet. An elephant is the second tallest animal on the planet, right? And and they can be about eleven feet tall. So an elephant at the shoulder can can be eleven feet tall. The tiger jumped up. And jumped over the elephant, which means it jumped higher than the elephant, and swiped at and caught the men that were holding the camera. And you thought, like the, the way it looked, it was a slow motion. The way it looked, it looked as though the tiger wasn't going to reach it because it's like the tiger took a like a, a leap from far away. And you think, okay, this tiger ain't gonna catch the people or, or catch uh, catch anybody. They, 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 I think it was gonna attack the lion, I mean, attack the elephant. That's what I thought they were gonna do. But the more the footage kept going, you saw the tiger just kept rising and rising and rising. And then you see the you see you see the tiger's paw. You see the paw of the tiger reach over and swipe at not at the elephant. It swiped over the elephant and and hit the dude. I said, holy crap. It's like that animal's in the air forever, waiting to get them. Then there's another piece of footage where it was two tigers at like this little zoo. Uh, and it was feeding time. They were going to get fed. And one of the caretakers of the tiger was holding the meat for the tiger to eat. And the tigers were ready to eat, right? The tigers were ready. And the man was about... 10 feet off the ground. They, they, they were holding up a, a they was holding a meat up with a device just keeping it in the air. I guess it would just show the people how high the tiger can jump. So the tiger was in a crouching position, like ready to get the meat, ready to get the you know the 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 meat that was being fed to it. And then the 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 man let the meat go. And it was still like it was still 10 feet in the air. And from a like from a from a sitting position, the tiger jumped ten feet or more in the air from a sitting position and caught the meat in the air. I said, "Oh man, Jesus! This is not what you want. If that animal ever decides to come for you, like you know what kind of power you need in your legs." To jump 10 feet in the air from a sitting position? <sighs> Jesus. It was it was amazing when I saw it. I was like, yo, they just, it is, it is. once again, you thought that the tiger would have maxed out on his jump? The tiger kept going up and up and up and up and up and up. I was like, yo, NBA players would kill they would jump like this. They would kill to jump like this. Crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I was I was highly impressed and I, I gained even more respect for a tiger. Mm-mm. I mean tigers are so powerful. There's a they have martial arts styles dedicated to the tiger. If you look at Chinese martial arts, they have they have martial arts styles dedicated to the tiger. That tells you 
Like this animal is revered, revered in many cultures. And you look at you look at a tiger, you can tell why. And they love to swim too. Tigers love to swim. You know the whole thing about cats not loving water. Tigers love to swim. Which is you you don't see you don't see many cats like that. You no, know, who love to swim, but tigers love to swim. Whew. So don't be in the water when it's when it's time to hunt, cause you don't want that beef. Alright, am I done? What else I got to do? Alright, so that is it. Done. Almost, almost at the home stretch. Almost done. Three more days, y'all. Uh. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all later. Peace.